I know that love can be loud and jubilant. It can be dancing in the swampy mud and pouring rain at a festival and shouting, you're amazing, over the band. It's introducing them to your colleagues at a work event and basking in pride as they make people laugh and make you look lovable just by dint of being loved by them. It's laughing until you wheeze. It's walking along the street together on a Saturday night and feeling an entire city is just yours. It's a big, beautiful, ebullient force of nature. I also know that love's a pretty quiet thing. It's lying on the sofa together drinking coffee, talking about where you're going to go that morning to drink more coffee. It's hanging up their laundry when they leave the house, having moronically forgotten to take it out of the washing machine. I know that love happens under the splendour of the moon and stars and fireworks and sunsets, but it also happens when you're lying on blow-up airbeds in the childhood bedroom, sitting in A&E or in the queue for a passport or in a traffic jam. Love is a quiet, reassuring, relaxing, pottering, pedantic, harmonious hum of a thing. symbolic vows you're about to make a way of saying to one another you know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed well I meant it all every word now you shall say a few words that take you across the threshold of life and things will never be quite the same between you for after these vows you shall say to the world this is my husband and this is my wife. Sophie, I give you this ring in the presence of our family and our friends as a symbol of our marriage. And as a celebration. Sorry, as, a as a celebration. Of our love for one another. Of our love for one another. And I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Matthew Daniel Farthing, take Sophie Jane Took to be my lawful wedded wife. Matthew, I give you this ring in the presence of our family and friends and I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Sophie Jane Took, take Matthew, da Matthew Daniel Farthing <laughs> to be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Matthew and Sophie, you've made a solemn and a binding contract with each other through the exchanging of your vows and your wedding rings. It gives me great pleasure to lawfully declare that you are now husband and wife united in marriage. And Matthew, the moment you've been waiting for. Yes.
It's my enormous pleasure and privilege on behalf of the four parents to welcome you all here today. We're delighted to see so many of you joining us all for this celebration of two very special people. For those of you who haven't already worked it out, I am the father of the bride. Uh, I do have a first name, but uh, I realized a long time ago that most people simply know me as Sophie's dad. <laughs> and as I think will become apparent over the next few minutes, that's a title that I'm incredibly proud to hold. <laughs> Ever since she's a little girl, I've always thought that no man could possibly be worthy of her. And it was after university that I was first introduced to Matthew. But I can immediately see that Matt is a gentleman, that he treated my daughter with respect, and that actually the two of them were really well matched. Those of you that know Sophie, as I do, know that she's not just beautiful on the outside, but she's incredibly beautiful on the inside. She's got a heart of gold. She always thinks the best of everybody. She'll give everybody the benefit of the doubt, and she's fiercely loyal towards her friends and family. <laughs> I can't look for this bit. Sophie, you know that you mean the world to me. You are the apple of my eye. You are the love of my life, and you are the reason that I draw breath each day. I know you've had to make some tough choices in your life, but I like to think that you've always made the right choices. None more so than today in your choice of husband and life partner. Sophie, I think you look beautiful every day, but today you look truly stunning. Ha! I first met Sophie whilst on a night out in a bar in Leicester. After what I can only presume was some horrendous attempt at flirting on my behalf, the night took us in separate directions. However, the stars aligned and fate brought us back together. Fast forward a number of years and whilst planning an amazing holiday to Sri Lanka, I decided that she was the one for me forever. Yes, People spend a lifetime in search of perfection but my perfection is here next to me, in you. Thank you for always being amazing. And I can't wait for our future together. I love you a hell of a lot. <laughs> to Sophie. So the facts about Matt, I'll now sum up in a poem. Matt's always been tall, I've always been below him. From all the highs and the lows to everything in between, having a mate like Matt has been an absolute dream. Matt's obsession with animals is really quite strange. From giant hamsters to llamas, it's quite a broad range. Riding elephants naked, On holiday in Sri Lanka, sometimes I question while I'm mates with this. <laughs> Piss takes aside, I say this in jest. To have a friend like Matt, I consider myself blessed. Now you've got your dream house and you've made it your own. It's amazing to see how much you've both grown. 
When I think of a couple and what they should be, you have it all and more from what I can see. A date we'll all remember, the 14th of May. It's been rearranged once, but we're all here today.